On the 19th of July, Fabrizio Romano gave Arsenal fans some great news. Alexander Zinchenko to Arsenal, here we go. Hi, I'm Todd, and I want to tell you why I think that that is really good business. Mikel Arteta, it took him a while, but he was always going to play the silky technical football that he learned under the likes of Pep. We saw glimpses of his 4-3-3 last season, which funnily enough coincided with us playing our best football. Some Arsenal fans might be wondering, why did this take so long? Well, the answer is quite easy. He quite simply did not have the correct tools. You idiot. The tools in this case are players that are very good at progressive passing and that have excellent technical ability and are very hard working off the ball. When Mikel first took over, the only player that fit that description was Bukayo. Fast forward 2.5 years to today, where he has players like that all over the field, the likes of White, Partey, Odegaard, ESR, and even Ramsdale. We're all so close to getting us top four, but ultimately just not good enough. I was trying to think beforehand who would be the best player at Man City at Rondos, and I honestly couldn't choose because you have the most ridiculously technically gifted players. Mm. C could you like pick one that is my top three are Zinchenko? Oh wow! Okay. Not in order. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zinchenko, okay. Mares. One of City's top three best technical players. Whether he plays left centre mid or left back, he is an immediate and vast upgrade on either Tierney and Jaka. If Kieran is serious about not letting us down again in the future, we have now given him the means to take better care of this body. Because if he isn't serious, we will leave him behind. And we will go on to achieve greatness again.